Elon Musk is out here saving Americans. What are you normies doing for the most part? Probably nothing. Now, let me give you some information about what Starlink is actually first, and then you guys can understand. Exactly is Starlink anyways. Well, Starlink is a high-speed internet service that uses low-orbiting satellites, or as they call constellations, to provide access to anyone on the planet. Now, the idea that Elon had when he conceptualized this product in 2015 was to provide high-speed internet access to anyone that wants it. Doesn't matter their location. And a lot of folks out there, like myself, do not have access to fiber. And if you don't have access to fiber and you're relying on copper, your speeds are going to be limited. So what exactly is Starlink? And and that's what Starlink is. So most of you know me probably think actually internet comes from the cosmos. Y'all think internet comes from the galaxy and it doesn't. Okay. So let me just let you know that it doesn't come from nature. It's actually Starlink a technological is. product. Okay. Now, Elon Musk has created this company, Starlink, that sits under SpaceX. It's pretty much a, just a different service that actually SpaceX offers. But this is across America helping and saving Americans that find themselves in the aftermath of the hurricane. So of course, telecommunications gets knocked down. Of course, infrastructure is obliterated and we need actual equipment like Starlink because it's not underground, right? You just need the terminals and then electricity and that's it. It could connect and then allow people to communicate. Not only people who are gonna be saving lives on the ground, but also for people who are gonna be victims. They don't have no communication, no GPS or anything of this sort. And this is why I think it's important and central that people have to Starlink and at least the equipment as a backup safety plan, right? And if you're one of those doomsdayers, you definitely want some connection. Comes doomsday. Me, you see information technology people, computer geeks. Someone had deemed us the the rugged geeks. We're getting ready to get onto health helicopters and go and set up starlings that have been distributed and have not come online yet so we're going to check out these guys who are actually out here in the field volunteers connecting the hurricane victims with starling so we're working it issues we're working electricity issues we're working logistics we're working aviation we brought staff right out of the office we never imagined that we would be doing it in our own home region in our own hometown when all the infrastructure went down uh, here, as far as cell towers and everything else, Starlink was unaffected. All you really have to have is power. The dishes will point themselves, find the nearest satellite that they can talk to. We're getting really, really good speeds for being so, so remote. We want to increase communications as much as we possibly can. We want to do this in Jesus' name. We want people to know that God loves them. Here we are. We're doing what we're called to do. And thanks to Elon. Like, guys, I mean, the product speaks for itself, but net net, we don't even know that we have it, right? Give the good Sumerians a purse or one of the best relief organizations. Thank you. Excuse me. It always does that, right? When you zoom in, it always goes down. Proud of the support, faith based organization. Nobody's actually acknowledging Starlink at all, right? Like, you're going to need the tech and here they come, right? Hallelujah for the Samaritan's Purse and Elon Musk for Starlink and many others helping. And it's important. That's why I said it's good to have innovative people. You guys are always attacking the rich and angry at individuals just because they've done well for themselves instead of actually seeing the value in which they create. Shout out to WRAL, but they're covering it right here on this story. Let's listen to what they say because, of course, most normies don't even know what Starlink is. Guys can help bring Western North Carolina back online. It's a Starlink receiver, and more of them are headed to the state to get internet service to those who need it. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the legislative building where one lawmaker's plea for more of these reached billionaire Elon Musk. Laura? It sounds crazy, Gerald, but it's true. You know, Rob Robinson County State Senator Danny Brett is certainly no stranger to natural disasters. His district has seen more than its fair share. Still, he says what happened in Western North Carolina was beyond anything he's ever seen, and he was looking for a way to help. 
State Senator Danny Britt said the images of Helene's destruction left him feeling helpless. I did go to college in Boone at Appalachian State. We do have property in Boone. Um, so I've got a very close tie and a close love for Western North Carolina. Britt was talking. What? He owns property? He's a landlord? He don't care about nobody. He's a slumlord because he owns property. He's an evil guy because he rents out accommodation, maybe affordable and maybe for profit. He's evil, but he's out here helping, getting in contact not only with Elon Musk, but other important people who can move and shake and make things happen. But again, we love to villainize people who've done well for themselves economically. And for some reason, we love to glorify people who haven't done well for themselves economically. I'm not here to demonize them, but why is that put on a pedestal? Why? Just because you're broke? Like, what about your character? And just because you're rich, it doesn't mean your character's bad. But I guess I have to provide this information for a bunch of people who just are anti-capitalist and anti-economy and anti-profit and anti-basically the evolution of humanity ever since. Okay. Talking to a National Guard colleague about the communication problems emergency responders were facing out west. He did say they had some star links and expressed that if they had additional star links, then that would make a huge difference. So Britt started looking for ways to contact Elon Musk, and his connections led him to former President Donald Trump's assistant, who said they could help. Along with state emergency director William Ray, they used a group chat to send the assistant a formal state request for help. He communicated back right then uh, that the president had made the phone call to Elon Musk, left a message, and that he was going to work on trying to see what Elon would be willing to do to provide additional Starlink satellite terms. Shortly after that, Elon Musk posted, Trump alerted me to additional people who need Starlink Internet in North Carolina. We are sending them terminals right They met. Right away. Britt says they'll primarily be used by first responders. But also communication from people to their families to let them know they're okay. Communication from people who may still be in danger or may still be stranded. Very important, guys, to have this type of technology. It's amazing that we have at least great patriots that are able to do it, all right? So, of course, Trump asked Elon about the Starlink, and they made it happen. Allegedly, that's what they're saying. And thanks to Elon and Donald and Ivanka for helping. And for all of those that are saying it's about time, keep in mind that Starlink and Musk are not government agencies. Trump asked Musk to consider it. Apparently, the Biden administration asked him for help. He stepped up for Ukraine and now North Carolina, but Musk gets nothing but criticism in return from everyone and everywhere till folks need this help. Exactly. Way to go, Musk. So criticism, at least for Elon Musk, until people need his help. It's like criticize this and he's helping out in Ukraine. Criticize that he's helping out in the NYC. Criticize that he's going to be helping out in Florida. Across the board, Elon Musk has proven himself capable of helping. Actually, he's the only billionaire who paid the largest tax bill in all of human history. But still, he's not given the respect. Uh, from the media is one thing. Uh, from a certain ministry, uh, administration is another thing. But from normies, really? Like, really? Come on. All thanks to Trump and Musk. And those are the people who gave $750 with an insult, $500 billion to Ukraine. Nothing for actual citizens of America that need help. And of course, again, you guys voted for it, so or a portion of them did. So I'm not really going back and forth. Great thing we have an amazing country where people like Elon Musk decided to come here instead of going somewhere else. South Africa could have all this technology if he would have stayed there. And if my family is there, please remember the county, NYC. It's a smaller town northeast of Asheville, and so many in the mountain roads are trapped. Bodies are still being found and pulled from the water. Man, it's, it's, it, it, it wasn't a, a nice thing that happened, but that's Mother Nature. You guys have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But again, good thing we have people on the call like Elon Musk. Remember, Elon Musk is not a government guy. He's just in the private sector. He's just a civilian, just like you and I, right? But he's solving problems that the government can't solve. This is what industry has done for the long time. It's not just Elon Musk, JP Morgan, John D. Rockefeller, W. DuPont, uh, DuPont, excuse me, W. William Bowen, 
All these individuals saved the government and saved the United States of America and helped even after they were vilified by John D. Rockefeller, or excuse me, <laughs> and Roosevelt. Roosevelt criticized all these titans of America and said that they were the worst of the worst. The media and civilians dragged them through the mud. But when the war efforts needed those Americans to step up and retrofit their factories for the war efforts, they delivered. These titans always deliver. And most normies and politicians underperform and underdeliver. You guys always think all the hope and the desire is tied into these fake leaders. But it really is in the true leaders like Elon Musk and all these industrialist individuals who were the titans. They laid the railroads. They laid down the financing. They laid down all the manufacturing and infrastructure that you guys see today. Not the government leaders. I see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. And remember, Elon is out here saving Americans. What the heck are you doing? It's electric.